Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problems of February circuits 2022 and the very first prob uh, problem that we are going to face is the problem name Zord Split. As the name suggests, we are going to have the problem related to the bitwise XOR. Okay. Also, if you are unaware about the concept of bitwise XOR and bitwise AND, then I would strongly recommend you to learn those concepts that are available on the Wikipedia or you can find a GFG article also over the internet. Then you can read out that and then you are going to come back to this problem and solve it. Then that would be a quite better for you. Okay, so let's begin. We will be given an integer number n. And our task is to find if there exist two distinct natural numbers such that their bitwise XOR is n. So we need to find two distinct natural numbers. First of all it should be natural numbers and second uh, case is like the two uh, natural numbers that you are going to find should be distinct. And their bitwise and is 0. Okay. so. Also, if such numbers exist, we need to print 1, otherwise print 0. Basically, if there exist two distinct natural numbers such that bit, uh, their bitwise odd is n and bitwise and is 0, then we are going to print 1, otherwise print 0. Let's look out the test cases. Uh, you can see uh, n maximum, n is around 10 to the power 18. So, you need to have an efficient way to solve this problem. Okay, so let's begin how we are going to understand this problem. So we need to find A and B such that A and B both should be greater than or equal to 1 and A should not be equal to B. Okay, now the very first concept is let's understand the called uh, bitwise XOR. Okay, so let's say we have uh, the numbers having their binary representation that is being placed over here ok suppose that uh, uh, as we all know that if the bits are same like 1 1 or 0 0 we have the corresponding resultant answer after taking bitwise odd of these two numbers would be if the bits are same we are going to get 0 if the bits are same we are going to get 0 like either 1 1 or 0 0 then in both of the cases we are going to get 0 as our resultant bit if we take bitwise odd at their respective positions. Okay, and what about the case when the bits are different like 1, 0 or 0 and 1. When the bits are different uh, if you take a bitwise XOR then you would be getting the value in the resultant answer the set bit at this position will be 1 like the bit will be set and here also the 1 right so this is the concept of bitwise so and how if we take the bitwise and bitwise and bitwise and is like when the corresponding bits are set like 1 1 then our answer is 1 and rest all the cases like 1 0 or 0 1 or 0 0 we are going to have the answer as 0 0 0 ok so now we need to find two distinct natural numbers such that if we perform their bitwise XOR then we will get the value as n otherwise we will get the and the bitwise and is 0 so a or b should be n and a and b Note that this is bitwise and b should be 0. Okay. So uh, we need to, uh, we, we are having the resultant number n. Okay. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to plot out the binary representation of this n. Okay. So let's say we are going to do the binary representation of n as this one. Okay. Note that this is the answer. This is the answer when we perform A or B. That is when we perform the bitwise uh, XOR of A as well as B, like uh, A or B. Okay, so let's uh, start filling out the values for this A and this B. Okay, now consider this position, the very first position. Okay, 
so you can see the resultant uh, in the resultant answer the set bit is set to 1 okay as I've already said if the set bit is set to 1 and you are having the bitwise x or either it would be 1 0 or 0 1 right so you can have the any of these among these places so let's say you are uh, going to put 1 0 okay so if you perform the bitwise XOR one zero of 1 and 0 at this place then you are going to get 1 because bits are different and you are performing bitwise XOR now again in the next case you are going to check out for this position again you are going to have uh, you can see 1 uh, that is you are going to have this bit set as 1 in your answer okay so what you are going to do is like uh, you are going to have either 1 0 or 0 1 okay so you can also place 1 and 0 over here but you can see uh, that there might be some case like in the rest of the places you're not going to get a 1 over here right uh, in that case you are uh, going to have all the places as 0 if that is the case then you are going to uh, have the two numbers a and b same you can see but this should be avoided so the best case is to put the bits in alternative fashion that is I'm going to explain that is previously you have uh, put the bit as 10 so next you are going to put the bit as 01 right in by doing that you can see a will never be equal to B because uh, one of the bits would be set at this position other bit would be set at the other position and if uh, this position is always greater than the previous position so the bits so the value should, will never be equal right okay so what about the next positions at this position you can place again one zero any position value and here it is zero now if the answer contains zero the bits must be either one one or zero zero right uh, also yeah you need to be very much careful about the condition of bitwise and when you are placing 1 and 0 you can see bitwise and will be 0 ok and when you are placing 0 and 1 bitwise and would be 0 and again when you are placing 1 and 0 bitwise and would be 0 but when you are having this 0 you can either place this one or this one so can you think about that which uh, combination should you place at this position if you place the this value like 1 and 1 their bitwise and would be 1 and uh, if you place 0 and 0 their bitwise and would be 0 ok so according to the given conditions a and b must be 0 so you should place the this pair like 0 and 0 ok so what you are going to do is you are going to place 0 and 0 over here again you are get, going to get 1 so you would place a random value 1 0 so you can see bitwise and is coming out to be 0 0 0 0 0 ok so note that bitwise and would come out to be a non negative uh, like uh, a positive value when and uh, only when the bits at the particular position are set for both the numbers like 1 and 1 ok so how do we check it out that uh, we are going to have the uh, valid distinct natural numbers a and b such that a or b is n and a and b is 0 ok so this is very much simple since you need to return yes or no the, so what you are going to do is like uh, uh, suppose you are going to have uh, none of the uh, n suppose you are going to have the answer as n and in, a, and in the n all the bits that are going to be like this one all the bits are not set like everything is zero so in that case what you are going to do is like uh, since you cannot place one and one so because a and b will become a positive value so you are going to place zero and zero so you will do like this one zero 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 like everything will be zero for both a and b now by doing this you can see a is exactly zero and b is exactly 0 since we need to choose a and b as natural numbers uh, this is not possible right because a and b should be greater than or equal to 1 so when n is exactly 0 like all the bits are not set uh, you are not going to get any answers ok so uh, let's check out one more case 
what about when exactly one bit is set in the answer of n like suppose this is set and everything is zero so in that case you can see uh, what you are going to do is uh, you are uh, at this place since the bit is not set in the answer you will place zero and zero again uh, this place is not set in the answer you will put zero and zero again this place is not set in the answer you will put zero and zero now this is the tricky case so exactly one uh, like you can see exactly one bit is set in the answer so you will place either one or zero or zero one i will place zero and one okay so and again you are going to get zero and zero so you will place zero and zero right now you can see a is exactly zero and b is exactly some value let's find out that value 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 b is exactly 2 power 3 okay since a is uh, not greater than or equal to 1 you can see you are not going to get any answer so whenever there is exactly one bit set in the uh, set in the answer which is n can see exactly one bit is set then we are going to say answer doesn't exist right or you can also say if n is a power of 2 n is a power of 2 then you are going to say there is there will be exactly one bit set in the n as uh, and you can see n should be greater than 0 okay so let's uh, talk about uh, uh, there ex exist exactly two bits set in the end. So what you are going to do in that case? Okay, so let me erase that so you should keep in mind that when exactly one bit is set in the N which will be given to us then answer will not exist Because one of the values either a or B will be exactly zero in that case. You are not going to uh, Have a valid natural numbers. So exactly two bits are set you can see one and one and rest all the are zero so how you are going to fill that you can see this will be zero okay now here you here you got one so you will place one and zero now here you got again one you can place one and zero as well and this will be zero but you can see this is a and this is b now you can see b becomes zero but uh, you have placed some invalid move and that invalid move is over this position these two positions okay so you can see if you are placing 1 and 0 at this position so another position you can place a 0 1 also so you will erase this one and place a 0 1 so if you are going to do that you can see both a and b becomes non zero like both a and b becomes a positive number like greater than or equal to 1 and both are distinct so in that case you are going to get the valid answer okay so uh, what about when number of bits which are set in the n is going to be greater than 2 in all that case you are going to get the any natural numbers as proven because either you are going to put a 1 0 or 0 1 and the numbers will be distinct so summarizing all the fact you what you have to do is like you have to count let count denotes number of set bits in n number of set bits in the n and if count is going to be greater than 1 our answer is 1 which will return else our answer will be 0 so this is the entire concept so you can see we have a logarithmic time solution uh, I hope the screen should be visible. Let me zoom it. Uh, let me zoom out. Okay, so no need to worry about. I will go to the another screen. Uh, yeah, you can see you can see all the test cases are passed for Zor split. Yeah, you can see. So time complexity will be O of log of n and space complexity will be O of one. Because uh, you can see time complexity is of logarithmic time because each time we are dividing the n by 2 and counting down the number of set bits, uh, number of bits which are set at the specific positions. Okay, so take count as 0. While n is positive, you need to increment the count whenever n is an odd number. 
and each time you are going to divide n by 2 if count is greater than 1 uh, print the value 1 otherwise print the value 0 as your answer so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video